came around this Stuart with wine on the dime and uh, my wife got me this bottle because she thought the label was interesting and she thought I might actually like it. So uh, it is the <laughs> gentleman's collection and at the bottom it says rule number one, language please. So in order to be a gentleman for the remainder of the video, I have to get this out of the way. I might be able to get through this. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, before I begin today's video, if you like it, then subscribe to the channel, click that notifications bell, all the notifications, so you get notified if I do some live streaming stuff, if I haven't already, and also, you know, maybe like, share with your friends, leave a comment, all those things help. Today I'm reviewing the 2018 Gentleman's Collection from Lindemann's. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It is 13.9% alcohol by volume, and um, my wife bought it, so I'm gonna have to like dig through the receipt or go to a website and figure out how much it costs because she never tells me when she buys wine. Anyway, let's go ahead and pour a sample. And I just realized it has Haley's Corker, and I took it out to do that. So now I'll just look like an idiot on a video. But y'all are used to that if you're subscribers, so uh, you already know what you get from this. So, from a color standpoint, I didn't give you medium purple. No artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose. Oh, you smell like cab. Ooh, you smell like a hot cab. Ooh, what's going on with that? Ooh, that's very hot. As in like alcohol. It's like, that reminds me of what like 15 plus percent ABV smells like. You're 13.9. I don't know if I goose to. Mm, mm. In terms of the nose, medium intensity on the nose. Getting a lot of plum, getting a little bit of Black cherry, no, not a little bit. A lot of it alcohol, I already mentioned that. It's, it's actually making it hard to smell things. Oh man. Ah, it burns. Ugh. This, this is probably one that you may want to decant for at least 30 minutes before reviewing to let some of that alcohol like burn off because oh, it's getting to me. Maybe a little bit of raspberry, but man, it's so hard to pick stuff out. Uh, there might also be like a little bit of like a, a slight vanilla, a little bit of a clove. Uh, I don't want to keep smelling it, it hurts. Ugh, okay. Let's go to the taste. Okay, so medium plus intensity, medium plus acid, full body. Here's vanilla, there's also a little bit of a slight, a slight dark chocolate. Nah, it's not dark chocolate. It's almost like a mocha frappuccino type of thing. Like a dark chocolate mocha frapp from Starbucks. That's kind of what it has going with it. Uh, it's off dry. Alcohol is medium on the palate, but oh God, it burns the nose. Oh, it's medium on the palate though. Tannins, medium plus tannins. They're scratchy. They're really scratchy. They're just kind of like trying to move fine gravel around your mouth. Like a decomposed granite, but without the flavor. Yeah, I mean, all the red fruit's there though. Uh, maybe that touch of raspberry. Right, let's get to the blick. In terms of balance, I'm gonna give you half a point. The thing about this wine is the separation of the alcohol versus the rest of the structure. The, the, the tannin is, uh, it isn't offensive. It, it's, it, it's workable, especially if you kind of aerate it a bit. So, so the tannin works, the body, the alcohol on the palate works, but the way it's separated on the nose is really kind of like messing with me. And it actually, like I'm not kidding, it actually hurts my nose to smell this wine. So I'm gonna give you half a point because you're kind of there, but if they can find a way to integrate that alcohol better, then you would fully be there. Uh, length, medium plus finish, half a point. Intensity, I'm gonna give you half a point. You're medium on the, the nose and you're medium plus on the palate. In terms of complexity, you're, you're kind of a simple red wine in terms of my evaluation because I can't get past the alcohol in that separation of the alcohol in order to get further into the wine. But I also don't feel like you're you're gonna have been old enough to develop those tertiary and everything else that I'm looking for. So uh, I'm not gonna give you any points. So ultimately, that comes out to one and a half points. I'm gonna give you okay. It's 
you are drinkable. You're gonna have to do some work with it in order to make sure that it kind of gets, like the alcohol blows off a little bit. I don't think there's a way to reintegrate the alcohol. So just let the alcohol blow off. De decanting will also help with some of those tannins and it'll put you in a better spot. So in terms of the overall quality though, if you're looking for like a really high quality Napa cab or California cab, this is not it. If you're looking for just a grab off the shelf and you want a cool label to take to a friend's house, um, there are there's still better wines than, than that. But if you have a bottle of it, it's okay. You can drink it. You're not gonna pair it with the drain, but you just kind of need to play with it a little bit to, before it's gonna really be fun. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2018 Lindemann's Gentleman's Collection Cabernet Sauvignon? Be interested if you have, leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm really gonna have to like, I'm gonna see if I can find one of those like, things that they had in Science Lab where it was like, uh, like a little magnetic pellet on the on the tray and it like spun super fast and that's probably like i'll put this in a decanter and drop that little pill in and turn on the magnet base and like watch it spin and decant this for a while because um that's really the only way this is going to work and if i can't find one of those uh at this time at night um yeah it's going to pass through a decanter filter a lot a lot but i'm not going to drain it